Hello and welcome to another evening of eating and as is usually the case in these videos I am sat in my car outside the gym or as I like to call it palace ecstasy. Um, now I am uh, I've eaten loads today like we had a massive massive meal for lunch. I started eating fruit and fibre for breakfast as well because I think that I've been neglecting the amount of fibre I've had, I'm having in my diet a little bit so I've started having fruit and fibre <clears throat> for breakfast in the morning because it's just an easy way to make sure you're getting that. Uh, I have my standard snacks in between that and lunch. Uh, lunch, what do we have? I had a curry, like a really, really big curry, and then uh, more snacks. And I'm now, like I said, about to go in. Um, I'm not, in fact, I am actually. I've got a couple of like pre workout type snacks. I've got like a, I generally have these, like one of my go to snacks. It's like a fruit and fiber cereal bar. It's basically a cereal bar with chocolate and raisins and that. And then this is a jive, which again, I tend to have as my go to snack, which, as I said last week, if you reverse it round, looks like it says, Evil. Um, so I'm going to have those. Uh, I'm going to drink a bit more water, and then I'm going to go into the gym. I'm doing. Uh, this is quite rare for me. I'm doing a purely bodybuilding-based workout, so I'm doing back and biceps, and that's it. No squats, no deadlifts, no bench. Very, very rarely happens. But I'm currently deloading a little bit and taking it a bit easy, so that is the reason behind that. So I'll go in, um, show you a bit of the footage, and catch up with you shortly. <laughs> That was decent. Uh, it's weird, like I said, I've never done, or obviously have, I very rarely do go into the gym and just do hypertrophy work. I would normally always do a big compound first, so it makes a nice change. I find that the, I found that the quality of that back and bicep workout was a lot higher than it would be after, say, like a squat session, for example, because obviously I'm a lot fresher. So the first lift where I was doing those seated rows, I was able to go a lot heavier, which is obviously nice and obviously also beneficial as far as hypertrophy work goes. Any way, I'm gonna have my uh, protein now. So I've got 25 grams of uh, chocolate smooth. Ordered some more of that the other day. Uh, I'm gonna keep persevering with it. I think I would say it's my favorite. If you're ordering my protein, in my opinion, chocolate smooth is the best flavor. So if you're gonna use my link, uh, we become best friends automatically. But yeah, chocolate smooth, I'd recommend because basically you mix it with milk and it just tastes like an awesome, like very similar to a McDonald's chocolate milkshake. It's really, really nice. Make sure you mix it up loads. Definitely recommend it. Anyway, I'm gonna have that. I'll go home and check in with you when I get there. I am back from training. It is currently raining. Whoa. Um, that was actually a complete fabrication of the truth. It isn't raining at all. I just use that to enhance the quality of my rhyme. Now, it is uh, almost dinner time. I put the oven on to warm it up and I'm gonna have, we over the weekend made a couple of like pre-ready meals to save us doing it in the week. So this is one of those. It's a lasagna, looks pretty awesome. Gonna put that in in a minute and it should be good to go in like 45 minutes. Um, to tide me over. In the meantime, because that's quite a long time when you're starting to get hungry, I've got a couple of minor snacks, nothing major, a standard banana, and then some teddy faces, which are incredibly high in protein, pretty much the ideal post-training snack. I mean, if I show you the macros here, if you see there, per bag, 0 0.6 grams of protein. That's obviously very extensive, as good as it gets. Uh, so, I'm now going to eat those uh, snacks. And trust me, I know how to eat a banana. Well, that was weird. Right, um, oven is warm, lasagna is ready. It's going in. Ready. Mana! That is the finished article, a little cross section there. How bloody good does that look? So that is a sausage lasagna, which sounds unorthodox. I've made actually a, a bodybuilding meals like video on this where I, where I make it. It's really, really good. When I first heard of a sausage lasagna, I thought someone had gone mental. Like it sounds like it doesn't go. Like saying banana casserole, but it actually is an awesome, awesome combination. And it's bloody 
delicious. And this is some token basil. Yeah, basil. Also, more importantly, look how good I am at spinning on my stool. And I can do that four or five times non-stop, so. Um, anyway, I'm gonna eat this. It's a pretty bloody big portion. I'll put it on a small plate to make it look bigger, if I'm honest, and I think it does the trick. Also, if I hold it right there, behind my head, how massive does that look? It makes it look gargantuan. Um, so I'm gonna eat that. I've got my uh, peach, I think peach squash, part of my new regime to drink freaking loads. So I'm gonna have this, and then I'll catch up with you in a bit if there is any dessert on the agenda. Dessert time, right. The lasagna, I'll be honest, filled me up a lot more than I anticipated. Like it was, uh, <coughs> it's got loads of like creme fraiche and stuff in it, so it was really, really good, but it was also very creamy. So it was one of those where you eat it and then within 30 seconds you're like, whoa, I have just consumed a lot of fat. But it was good, I very much enjoyed it. It's been like half an hour now, so I'm kind of ready to go back in and have a look at this. Pretty freaking excited if I do say so myself. So, that is uh, a My Protein Brownie with some vanilla ice cream. Now what I've done, uh, if you saw my even of eating from a couple of weeks ago, I think I was talking about these bad boys. Um, when you eat them by themselves, like just from the packet, they're okay. I mean, they're not amazing, they're not bad, they're quite, they're quite good, and obviously considering the amount of protein and macros and stuff, they're pretty freaking incredible, really. A couple of people told me to microwave them, so I have microwaved them, and straight away, it's like way squidgier, and it looks freaking, freaking awesome. I had one of these the other day, and I can tell you right now, when it's microwaved, it's bloody delicious. So with the ice cream as well, um, I'm getting a pretty huge amount of protein. Didn't really need that much protein, but if you're gonna eat a brownie, you might as well eat a protein brownie. And it is bedtime, and surprisingly enough, because I never ever do this, I have not showered yet. I'm still in my gym attire. Chest is looking good though. Um, yeah, as always, I end up doing loads of stuff, like making this video, um, and eating, and lying around, and so I haven't got around to showering yet, so what I'm gonna do is shower uh, before I go to bed, which will be in a minute. Um, if you want to see that, check out my sister channel, Matt Does Showers. That doesn't, that is not a real thing. Scrap that from your memory. Um, now, of course, before I go to bed, as, it all, as is always the case, I'm going to be having my protein. Uh, there's my shaker. I know what you're wondering, because uh, I get asked this about 20 times a day. Does a banana fit into the hole in a shaker? Let's find out. Uh, no. Quite clearly, the answer is no. Uh, so I'm gonna have some whole milk, I'm gonna have some chocolate smooth whey, I'm gonna have five grams of creatine, I'm gonna mix it up, I'm gonna consume it, and then I'm gonna go to bed. And that, my friends, concludes my video. So, I've been Matt, you've been fantastic, see you later.